What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. We're back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. It's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to get it cranked off. We got a lot to talk about in this video. Let's get it started off with your girl T. Swizzle. Now, Taylor Swift coming off of the Golden Globes. The Golden Globes, right? Where she lost in the Golden Globes, I believe, to the Barbie. I think her, her um, concert video lost to the Barbie video, I believe. I'm not sure whether it was a video she directed or whether it was the concert video. Whatever it was, they lost to Barbie. So, the host of the show... Joe Coy, uh, he, you know, he, you know, he, he was doing his job as a host, you know, during their monologues, they tell jokes and roast people or what have you. So he told a joke about, you know, the, the difference between the NFL and us is we're going to have le far less cutaways to Taylor Swift. Then they cut the camera to Taylor and they showed her reaction where she didn't seem very amused. So y'all let me know. Y'all let me know, know what what um y'all think. A lot of people seem to be taking Taylor Swift's side. Um, and then there's some saying, oh my God, can't she take a joke? So y'all let me know what side of the fence y'all fall on. Now, Megan Thee Stallion was out for the Mean Girls premiere. She was out there with Renee Rapp, who she has a new song uh, with. And Megan was just turning heads. Totally turned it out. Everyone was was um, commenting on how beautiful and stunning she looked. She had on this purple uh, dress, purple mermaid dress, as they call it, that flares at the end, tight, you know, uh, where the legs go. And man, she looked amazing. She donned the blonde hairdo, and everyone was just commenting on how beautiful she looked. Lin Lindsay Lohan, uh, Renee Rapp. Everyone that came across Megan, you can just hear all the paparazzis screaming her name, telling, oh, Megan, you look amazing. You know what I mean? So shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. She just dropped a song with Renee Rapp as well. Now, the other thing about Megan that's being seen on the internet is it looks like she has a drill record coming out with drill rapper Kyle Rich, New York rapper. Now, um, fun fact is, people telling me that he was one of the rappers that were in the studio. Remember when Nicki Minaj did her um, her Queen Radio in New York and she had a whole bunch of rappers in the studio that people were calling goons? Well, this is one of the rappers, allegedly, that people were calling a goon. But he's really a rapper. Right? So, um... Kyle Rich is said to be, I don't know whether that's true or not, but it said he's said to be one of those rappers that were in the studio with Nicki Minaj. He's now on a drill record with Megan Thee Stallion. Now, there's some footage going around. Two things. Kyle Rich is allegedly 20 years old, and there's video going around of him in a club drinking, right? People are trying to say, oh, Megan is, is, got a, is drinking with an undate... You can't blame that on Megan. You know, <laughs> Megan didn't serve him the drinks, right? And the second thing is, there is a video. The part that I do not like is there are parts, there's a part in the video where Megan is like twerking or dancing and he's smacking on Megan's ass. That I didn't really particularly like. I don't, I, I don't think that was a good move. Now, I don't know whether at the time she didn't want to embarrass him or by telling him stuff, but he shouldn't feel that comfortable to where he's smacking on her ass unless she's fucking him. And I, and I seriously doubt, at least I seriously hope, that she's not fucking a 20-year-old rapper from New York that nobody knows. Right? Or she was fucking a 20-year-old, period. 
I would think Megan is above that. At least I would hope. You know, she's on a different level now. Megan is on a different status now. And for that guy to be smacking on the ass. Now, if you reverse that, if that's anybody else, you know, they're catching a lawsuit. I'm not, we're not used to seeing men being able to smack on women's asses that they're collabing with. You just don't really see it. Unless those two are together. So I didn't really like that. Uh, Megan, you know, that, that was a bad look, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's a bad look for he's, a, he's that comfortable that he's able to smack on your ass. And you see he's very happy that he's smacking on it, too. Uh, I didn't like the way that looked. So Megan needs to clean that up because now there's people uh, saying and blogging that Megan is dating a 20-year-old. Because she didn't allow anyone else to smack on her ass, but this guy is smacking on her ass. So, y'all let me, that's a, that's a problem that the hotties got to deal with, <laughs> with their muffer. So, shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. A um, lot of people are now saying they want to collab with Megan Thee Stallion. Um, she's definitely going to be a hot ticket in 2024. Moving on to Onika. Queen Onika, Nicki Minaj. So FTCU comes in at number 17 this week. There's four weeks on the charts. New Peak, number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100. She also has the song with Lil Uzi entitled Everybody. Uh, it is now number 27. That has actually dropped one slot. It peaked at number 26. Nicki Minaj also extends her record as the female rapper with the most cumulative weeks within the top 10 on Billboard her Hot Gospel Song Charts. And this week, at, at the, for January 13th, she is number 8 on the Billboard Artist 100 Charts. So, shout out to Nicki Minaj, uh, the Pink Friday 2 album. Um, FTCU surpassed 50 million streams on Spotify. So Nicki Minaj is doing it, right? She's doing it. Uh, every song on the album has appeared, uh, I believe on the Billboard Top 100 at least once. You know, every, she charted every song on it, Right. But for as much as Nicki Minaj is doing it, Doja Cat is really crushing it right now. And we will let you know what we mean. I want to shout out my go-to on Twitter for uh, Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat statistics. I want to shout out Onika University. Make sure you check them out on Twitter and follow them. So she gives me all my, whenever I need stats for Doja Cat, that's my go-to. So Doja Cat, first and foremost, some good news. She's made amends with her father, okay? And she is finally coming home to visit South Africa. All right, the uh, veteran actor, who, her father, uh, Dumasani Diamani, all right? Uh, it says here, uh, Dumasani Diamani said the late, Mbogini Nagima helped him raise funds to organize a traditional homecoming ceremony for his daughter, American-born rapper and singer Dojo Cat. He said, my child is a bomb. She's one of the biggest artists in the world, and she's South African. Dojo Cat has pointed out in various interviews and in the recent Apple interview with Old Man Ebro over that she never met her father and would like to come to Mzanzi. Mazanzi. So that is a great thing. Shout out to Doja Cat for that. Now, let me let you know what happened with Doja Cat over the last week. Okay. Remember, we reported at first that um, Nicki Minaj was still uh, the number one female rapper as far as uh, the numbers went on Billboard. All right. But um, Billboard corrected, uh, corrected it and they confirmed uh, by adding Vegas. They forgot to add the song Vegas from the Elvis soundtrack. 
All right. And then that gave Doja Cat one more uh, hit on the Billboard charts, one more top 10 hit on the Billboard chart than Nicki Minaj. So she ended up surpassing her. All right. So it says here, and shout out to Onika University. Doja Cat's unbreakable records on the Billboard Hot 100 made this week. She's the first female rapper to chart two solo songs simultaneously on the top 10. All right. She's the first female rapper to have a solo top 10 for five consecutive years. She's also the first female rapper to have two albums with multiple top 10 hits. Right, and let's see here. Uh, so Doja Cat's impact in the hip-hop industry needs to be studied. She runs rap. She is the first rapper with the most top tens, and 2024 just started. So Onika University has all the stats and the facts on her page. All right, I believe the song uh, with Vegas made it 13, what, top 10 hits uh, for female rap? I believe that's what it is. Um, worldwide Spotify, she's all over the place. She, she's leading uh, all female rappers and streams, you know, across all platforms. Uh, they said the Doja Cat will be releasing a new song on January twelfth, the book of for the for the soundtrack of the book of Clarence, and she will be eligible for an Oscar award depending on, you know, you know what that song sounds like, and how good that song is. She also is uh, eligible for a uh, an Oscar. Stereo Gum ranks Doja Cat Scarlet. As the number one female rap album in 2023, above Ice Spice's EP Like and Nicki Minaj's fifth album, Pink Friday 2. So check out Onika University. If you ever need any stats that you're not sure of, of Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat, you should definitely check out that page. So Doja Cat right now, got a lot of people calling her the queen of rap. I see in... You know, Spotify, uh, I saw, uh, I think it was Interview Magazine. So a lot of people are starting to call it a queen of rap. And who was the person who told y'all two years ago that Doja Cat is going to be the one that they're going to try to push as the queen of rap? She has now generated a fan base. She's worldwide. She's putting on amazing shows. And she's got what what we're, we're in the streaming era now. People aren't caring about she only did 70,000 on Billboard. They're looking at what she's streaming. And she is absolutely crushing it. Crushing it. So better keep an eye on what I told people. Make everybody now is starting to come around. Yo, Hev, you was right. You was right. I told y'all. I told y'all. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be dropping a video uh, in my members only about Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj. So y'all better check that out. So shout out to Doja Cat, man. She is crushing it. I didn't. She definitely proved me wrong. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.